Okay, so we have this self-weight per unit length problem. A piece of timber has a constant square cross-section of 55 by 55 millimeters. We are also given the density of timber is 650 kilograms per meter cubed, and we are asked to find the self-weight per unit length of the timber. We should also note that the length of the timber is not known here, but it is irrelevant to this problem because we're given that the cross-sectional area is constant, but say the cross-sectional area was different at some other length of the timber, then the length of the timber would actually be needed to calculate the self-weight per unit length. Okay, so the first step to solving this problem is to find the cross-sectional area of the timber. And we know that from the question it is 55 by 55. So this comes out to be 3,025 millimeters squared. And since our density is given in kilograms per meter cube, we want to be working in meters cube. So to convert millimeters squared to meters squared, we multiply it by 10 to the negative 6. Okay, so now we can find the self-weight of the timber. We know that the self-weight of the timber is just area times density times the gravity. We multiply by gravity because if you recall, weight is actually a force. If, if we did not multiply by gravity, it would be left in kilograms, which is just a mass. To realize why self-weight per unit length is just area times density, say we have a beam, and we have, and we have a one meter length. The self-weight per unit length of this entire beam would just be this cross-sectional area multiplied by the weight of that cross-sectional area, which is just the density. So what we have is 3025 times 10 to the negative 6 for the area. The density is 650 kilograms per meter cubed. And the gravity is 9.81. So if we multiply these three together, we come up with 19.29 newtons per meter. You get newtons per meter by cancelling out the units, and you should come up with newtons per meter. And that is consistent with our self-weight per unit length. 